stoke it. And we want to stoke it because we want to make some ash so we can actually cure our meat afterwards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what I said. Welcome back everybody to Falcon Place Neo Scavenger, a little bit of a revisit more than anything. If you want to see more beyond the four episodes I'm planning to record here today, let me know. First episode should have come out yesterday if I'm right, assuming these get released day after day. And, um, you know, I'm not really planning on a long-winded series, but if you guys want to see more, then I definitely will. But for now, just consider this a little bit of revisiting here with a few mods that I wanted to check out. So this will be episode two. I'm recording two more, and then if you guys want to see more beyond this point, let me know in the comments by leaving a like and also a comment, and I will consider doing so otherwise, you know, just consider this a revisiting. Anyway, let's go onwards right now. We have a pretty decent start. I'm not going to lie about that. We have some sketchy dude over here staring me down, though, so I'm a bit worried about that. Let's go into scavenging, and we have this we cannot get into without a crowbar or maybe without the lockpicking skill, which we don't have. So, we'll skip that one for now. We'll come into this abandoned house, we'll loot over here, and we found nothing. But just fine, because I do know that we have some rags over here, or at least potential of some rags. So what I want to do is I want to have maybe a torch in hand just in case. So, let's go into known recipes, and what I'm going to start off with over here... Actually, I don't even need that right now. Let's go into just... Putting some jeans over here, and if you tear them down, you'll get five rags and some string as well. Not bad, and then we'll do this again with this guy here. That's not the ones that I have on, right? No, the ones that I have on are right here. Oh, you know what? The ones that we found are actually a lot better condition than mine, so let's go ahead and... Nope, not the boots, but um, blue jeans. We'll take the ones that we found, because they're 90, and ours is only 56.9. But, let's go ahead and empty this out. Hey, look! <laughs> we could probably piece these guys together if we had the mechanical skill more than likely. But we already have the the rifle scope with straps, so we should be fine with that one. Uh, you could come over here. 34 and 23, yeah. Let's go into crafting, and we will tear this guy down for some more materials. Great. And let's see here. We might be able to stack more string. Absolutely, we can. And then we need a spot for rags, though. You know what, Binocular? You might have um, worn out your limited no use, really, because I kind of want to take this with me. How's this piece of meat doing here? 80% still. This actually degrades quite um, slowly. So we might even get back to the cryo facility and actually, you know, maybe, assuming we had more carrying potential, like um, salt, some of the meat that we left over there from Dogman we killed. But I guess we'll have to see if we get there. You know what? Binos, get on out of here. I'll take the rags instead. And we have some water that we need to purify as well. Okay, so pretty good so far. Let's get on out of here. I think that's the last place we want to scavenge because this is locked. So, if we head over here, we could um, grab all the stuff needed to make a fire and maybe even a torch. And then we could use that torch to look for stuff a little bit clearer. We could go back to the cryo facility as well and try to salt some of this meat. Which might not be the worst thing. If I had to make room for meat, how would this work out? Berries would have to probably go bye-bye. I guess what I could do is, you know what, let's go ahead and empty this out. We'll leave the canister behind and we'll take the pills only. And we'll do the same over here with this. Empty that out, leave the canister behind, and take the pills. So now we've made a little bit of extra room. A little bit. You can come over here and then we'll move you here. And we'll have one more spot for another meat. So we could carry some meat after all. Perfect. So let's go back. Um, I'm gonna leave this behind because this bronze spear is only 15%, so we'll take the cleaver here for now, but once we make a better one, we'll probably swap it over. And this is fine. Let's get onwards here. So, oh, you know what? Out of curiosity, well, not that we need the soul, but I wonder, can you make a soul from just tearing this down? No. You can't, huh? Unless maybe a shard? Something sharp? No. I was thinking you could probably grab the soul of this if you want to make the ragged shoes, but there's gotta be a way for that, right? Maybe a mod or something, who knows. Alright, so we have three moves left over. Let's um, head back to the woods, maybe? Yeah, because we want to get some of that meat. So, this guy hopefully doesn't chase me down. We'll come over here and over here. There's a feral dog right there, which could be problematic. Let's go ahead and scavenge, apparently? I thought I had no moves left over. Oh, I do, I have a uh, .80. <laughs> Alrighty, we use Botany over here. And we found some more berries as well, and this perfect. This was left over from earlier, as a matter of fact. So now we're out of turns. Feral dog, leave me alone, he's leaving. Great. Now, we have five moves left over. Let's go ahead and make a fire here to begin with. Or do we need the fire now? I say we just pick up the meat and then come back and make the fire, right? That might be for the best. So come over here to the facility. Grab another piece of meat and we'll just jump back. Now, interesting scenario here in that... What I could potentially do is salt two of them and eat one. 
But we have the berries here too, which don't have... Well, they have a condition as well, but... But we need the shards too. And there's no other... Actually, no, no, wait. Can't you put the shards in the... Yeah, you can. The um, soup can, can can work as a bit of a canister as well. So I would have to eat the berries now, and then... I wish I had like a hoodie or something for another extra carrying capacity here, but we don't. So I want to salt two of these guys, and I want to eat one so we can uh, get our meal restoration going on over here. So... Uh, it hurts doing it, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and just have the berries now. Okay. And we'll bring a big chunk right here. Perfect. Let's jump back in here and do our fire and all this other nice stuff here. So we want to do a small campfire friction, and this will make a small fire for us. And then we want to, as well, stoke it. And we want to stoke it because we want to make some ash so we can actually cure our meat afterwards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what I said. Cure our meat, exactly. And there you go. Perfect. Now, if we go over here, get on out of here, my friend, and just toss you in here. We can break this down for just a small campfire and then some ashes that we can use to salt this meat. That's what we're going to do. And now, if we do trapping along with Big Chunk, this over here, fire and ash and ash, we have medium chunk of meat cured. Now, this will make you thirsty, but it's going to actually preserve the, the meat for a long time. So, cons uh, confirm one, and we want to do this one more time as well. Boom and boom, and confirm. There you go. So we have two cured, and we're going to eat one right now, straight up. And confirm that one. There you go. So we'll eat this bad boy. Actually, we don't have to eat it right now. Oh, no. You know what? I think we just carry it along here for a while. And once it starts getting really low, then we'll eat it. So we have some... A little bit of a safety net going forward. We have some berries that we could actually digest now, so we will. Now, we can use the... Oh, you know what? We should probably go ahead and purify our water now and even make some tannin tea as well. We can make tannin tea. Known recipes. Let's see here. Botany skill, fireproof. Let's see. Yeah. You can easily make tannin tea right now. From the twigs and barks and water, you can make some tannin tea, which is actually just as good as water, and it also has, like, a, a healing effect as well. So, you know what? There's no reason not to do this right now. So we'll end our turn here because we are moves. Yeah, this guy's still wandering around. I hope that the fire still lasts. Look at the feral dogs are down here just throwing down or something. <laughs> Not sure what those guys are up to. And let's see, our fire is out now. So let's go ahead and make another small little fire here. Friction, all fine. And we want to go ahead and make one more ten in tea, or at least two more, really. Boom. And boom ski. All righty, good. There you go. So, Tannin Tea, let's just put you in here. What do you have? Empty yourself out, my friend. And we could probably make one more, too. Hold up. Tannin Tea, let's go ahead and just fill those bottles up with Tannin Tea if we can. Perfect. There you go. And there you go, excellent. And now we'll probably purify this bad boy here and drink it, and then we'll be on our way. This is actually quite a really amazing start so far. I'm not really hating the start. It's been a long time since I last played this, so I'm, I'm being really cautious about what I'm doing. But so far, I think it's working out quite well. This um, soup can is a, a grace of God, honestly, to see that so early on. Because otherwise, we'd have to find a pot. But if you can't find a pot, you can use a can to sterilize your water as well. Alrighty, baby. This is good. Really good stuff. I'm happy about this. We have 72.5, and then the cured meat is going to actually degrade slowly. We can make our weapon now as well if we want to get rid of this cleaver. And I think I kind of want to do that. We have some moves left over, so let's go ahead and make our weapon properly now. Where's my shards at? They're in here, right? Yes. So, what we're going to do right now is just make sure that we get a properly equipped, or at least a proper condition, shard to make our broad spear. This is going to be how much? 78.1? No, no, we want something better than that. So, 84 is what you're telling me you are? Is there something better than you? 80, 85, 84. Yeah, so we'll use 85 instead. Excuse me, my friend. 78, get out of here. There you go, our condition is going to be 85.7. Perfect. Okay, so now I'm content. Let's put on a good weapon, and let's get hit the road. Oh, you know what? We might want to carry some branches, but we have no room unless we want to get rid of our meat, which is something I really want to do right now. That's fine. Okay, so um, we have to... We've already checked this out, haven't we? Yeah, that's where we started off at. So let's continue going. Remember, we have to go back to the cryo facility for the mod, but we need to get some more items. I'm pretty sure we need a crowbar and something else, too, if I'm right. Maybe the multi-tool. A multi-tool would be amazing right now. 
Um, so I think we just come down this way. We have a lot of movement space, thankfully, because of our shoes, and we are really properly equipped in terms of food and weapons as well, at least for the early portion, so we're fine right now. Let's go ahead and end our turn here. And let's see. Let's do some scavenging about if we can. Now, this isn't really bothering me too much because it'll give me at least some berries to kind of eat along the way, so... These are the bad guys here, the handful of poison berries. Oh, it even tells you, poison berries, FYI, don't eat them. Now, I'm not sure if you can do something useful with those. I'd imagine you probably can, but I'm not really too wise. I haven't played this game in forever to actually remember properly, but I'm sure one of you guys let me know. I'm, it's got to be a use for them, right? They can't just hang around there for no reason at all, unless you're that dumb, and you'll be like, oh, I'm going to eat this. Po oh, actually, you know what? It says that it's poison because we had the botany skill. Without the botany skill, I'm pretty sure all it would say is just yellow berries. I think that's how it works out. It's kind of like a trap, really. Uh, we have four moves left over. I guess we'll continue going left here if we can. Let's check out our map. How did I check out the map again? It's been a while here. M? That would make sense. M for map, Falcon. Okay. You don't say. So let's continue going down this way. I want to find some more civilization. There's a... That's kind of torn down. But I'm looking for, like, hopefully a box. Instead of carrying around these bags, a box would be nice. Or maybe even if we get lucky, a shopping cart would be amazing, too. So for now... I think we just continue going down this way. We have some more wreckage happening over here. I think we check this out. All of our turns are done here. How's our hunger and thirst? Pretty good. Even though we have the metabolism, we are doing relatively fine keeping that upwards because of our botany and trapping. So let's go ahead and scavenge over here. Now these buildings over here are going to be um, have structural damage, so they could harm you if you search them out. So you have to be really careful about this one. We'll check out the apartment building here first. Oh, and speaking of which, hold up, hold up, hold up. Remember how we got hurt by Dogman starting off? I never took the, I took care of that, did I? Minor bruising and minor pain, and minor cut and minor pain. Uh, what we could have done, essentially, was, um, with the water we've been finding from the botany, is wash the, the rags that we have, the dirty ones, and make them clean, and then kind of patch ourselves up. Without them being clean, I'm not sure if, it, if it's positive. I, I have a feeling it's probably negative, so I won't do that. But if we could probably get some water soon again... We'll probably purify these rags over here, turn them clean, and then we could cover up our wounds over here, which are still open. They're not really too bad right now because of our toughness trade, but um, it could be problematic down the line if you don't take care of stuff like that. So for now, especially if we get hurt over here too, that's my big concern. Let's check this out here. No, 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 you get out of here. No useful items were found this time. Alright, he destroyed office building, three of them. These usually have some good stuff. Uh, this office building is in ruins, and it's unlikely much survived its collapse. The creaking walls and ceiling are no boost to your confidence either. Still, that may mean no one was brave enough, or perhaps desperate enough, to go in there. The loot is actually quite low, so... Oh, we found stuff. Well, I mean, we found water, which is kind of what I really wanted. The only problem is we have no twigs to make a friction happen here. Bag, 77. This is a 61. Have no more room, huh? I would like to carry this extra bag just when one of these guys deteriorate. We actually have a backup bag. But it's not going to work out right now. So I guess we have to hold off. Yeah. What's this um, newspaper about? New Star Wars movie came out, and here we have Han shot first. That's great. On the heels of the revelation of the controversial Eternal Protector Super Soldier Program, Insurrection Threatens to destabilize the industrial giant. While the official China News Service is not disclosing information on the activity, short burst uploads from civilians caught in the struggle seem to indicate a full-scale coup with popular support. And this is going to be Apocalypse Now, an outbreak of what appears to be smallpox has infected 28 people in Charleston, South Carolina, health officials said Wednesday. Four people have died with such a contagious disease and vaccines in short supply. More fatalities are expected. Scientists are scrambling to determine how the disease, believed to be eradicated in 1980, has infected the general population again. And more puzzling, why all reported cases thus far are concentrated in this seaside city. That's because this is really important to the story. That's where kind of um, a lot of the outbreaks started happening that, you know, basically led to the world how it is today. So, alrighty. That's good. We have another can here as well, which is, you know, those are good not only to boil stuff, but you can make some um, noise traps with these. Which, if you're sleeping and you put down a noise trap, you'll be able to be alerted if somebody's trying to loot you while you're sleeping or attack you while you're sleeping as well. So, um, you know, they have a lot of good uses for a fact. I think we have one more building to check out here. Two of them, as a matter of fact. Okay, so... Oh, baby! What do we have here? Alrighty, so... Left... Right, 58. Okay, we found our new right shoe. Excellent. 
and you're left. So you have a matching pair over here. It doesn't really matter if you have different shoes as long as they're right and left. They're properly placed. It's not going to matter too much. Plus, this is 87. And it's only 64.9. So I'll take this one for that little... What is this again? <laughs> oh, man. I'm not sure if you wear these and good on you. I haven't worn a pair of these guys since I was probably a child. And, like, nowadays, like, I see them. I'm just kind of like, I can't I can't bring myself to wear these. Like, you know, I I see a lot of people wear them. And, like, you know, good for you. I just can't do it myself. I just can't do it. I don't know. I can't bring myself to do it for some reason. Uh, let's see. We have some Cornicola as well. Mm, I'm not really too crazy about the the uh, sodas they give you like an adrenaline boost but then they make you like overheat as well so you know it's got a, like a proper use for them that's about it here the the thing is that we're so li limited in terms of what we can actually carry right now so that's problematic you know what we should do though is i don't think we have shirts on do we yeah so let's go ahead and stock up on shirts here detroit pistons huh okay not really much of a basketball fan myself but if i was it'd probably still be the minnesota timberwolves are they any good now? <laughs> They've been terrible forever. But they're still my team. They're still my team. Alrighty, let's go ahead and scavenge one more time. Destroyed office building. No useful items were found. Alrighty, so we have one more move left over. I guess we'll probably hit up over here. I'm looking for a box. We need like a bigger container to carry stuff with. Because right now we're so limited to just these bags. So let's scavenge over here. Okay, we have an abandoned office tower and a locked storage. Uh, let me tell you, a crowbar would be amazing as well. Let's check out the destroyed building here first. You decide to check out a crumbling apartment building. It's a mess inside. Broken bricks lay in piles, bits of glass thrown everywhere like glittering dust. Water stains and dead leaves litter the outer edges of the building. And rock dust still covers areas sheltered from the elements. Scavengers before you obviously pick most of the easy scores clean, but a little elbow grease and some risk taking might reward the intrepid treasure seeker. Really wish we had that. I mean, I just wish we had enough room. No useful items were found. I just wish we had enough room for a torch, honestly, but we're kind of limited right now. So, due to their nature, office towers weren't primarily or primary looting targets during the food riots. More obvious targets got the most attention. Later on, astute scavengers realized many offices had bottled water and often kitchens. What's more, the supply classes of 10 contain valuable survival tools. These supplies aren't expected to be great, but it's worth a shot. Nothing useful. <laughs> so much for that, huh? Alrighty. How are we headed here? We're still headed to the left, huh? Oh, we're out of moves. Let's go ahead and enter turn there. Um, Should we take care of our injuries? You know what? I think we probably should. Let's jump. Oh, we have a little city here. Finally. Good. Little town, city, whatever. Let's go into crafting and... Did we find that water here? Yeah, that water was here. You know what? We could use that to actually um, clean our rags. Which is perfectly fine. Let me go ahead and scavenge this here first with botany. That should give us more water and some berries as well. Let's go into... Hmm, mm hmm mm hmm Let's have some of these bad boys now. How's our meat doing here? 59.4 and 72.2. As you can see, the cured meat is still looking pretty good. This one's going down, but it's still hanging on. It's still indeed hanging on. But with botany, again, you can actually do pretty well with just berries. Let's go into crafting. And what I want to do right now is sterilize the rags. So if I'm right, you toss this, the container, and just random water. Oh, we need a fire too, right. Let's start the fire first here, because uh, Falcon is out of the fire! Yeah, it's still never going to get old for me. We need some supplies, though, so let me use this here. No in recipes and go into friction. There we go. So, let's give this an another try. Get, get out of here. Get out of here! Alrighty, we want fire, we want soup can, we want water, and we want rags. There we go. Clean rags. Can we, like, do these in multiples if we have more water, or... Let me try it out with more water here. No, it seems to be one at a time, really? Yeah, I'm not crazy about that. Clean rags medic, let's see here. There we go, clean rags times three. Heat source, water, any three... Sheets. I mean, we have more than three right there. Oh, large fireproof uh, container. Waterproof. Yeah, okay. So if we had the the pot, we'd be able to do that. But because we don't have the pot, we could only do one at a time. Can we do two, maybe? No, it's got to be large as well. <laughs> Alrighty, well, we give it a try. Confirm. Clear. I guess we have to do this one at a time, which is not too big of a deal. Just do that. As a matter of fact, just toss all of it in here. It's going to cost us all of our turns more than likely, but at least we'll have a lot of clean rags to go forward with which is still quite ideal. 
as long as our fire lasts too, which apparently it is right now. Oh, oh, stop right there, Falcon. We're out of water, so we can't do this anymore. But that's fine. We have a significant amount of them now. You can only stack five clean ones. Oh, eight clean ones. Good. Let's go ahead, and I don't have to do this, but I'll wrap one of them around my face just in case we're into some sort of crude um, wind element. We have at least a clean rag all over our face here. It's not going to help you as much as a gas mask would, but it's something. And then the rest of them will come over here, and that's fine. We'll just leave these bad boys behind. It's all good and dandy. We already read that one before, and we might as well just have the berries here before we do exit the premise. And speaking of the premise, how is this doing? Still good because we haven't used it. And we are well rested still. We might start looking for somewhere to sleep pretty soon, but for the most part, I think we're fine. And we want to start heading towards this little town over here. Oh, we have a shack over here too. Oh, Shaquille O'Neal in the forest. Ah, oh, I love it. it's like all of the old school series little hidden terminology is coming back to me now. It's kind of like, oh yeah, it's Shaq in the forest and Falcon started the fire and all that other stuff. We're gonna wrap it up here for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like. The support does mean a lot. Again, right now we're trying to look for a crowbar and a multi-tool so we could go back to the cryo facility and get it in depth with um Cobbin's little um depths of Gaijus mod here that I really want to undertake for you guys but again we need the proper tools for it first hope you guys are enjoying it leave a thumbs up again we're gonna record maybe two more here today and if you guys want to see more beyond this point let me know in the comments by leaving a like and a comment and we will continue it otherwise you know just think of this as a small revisiting and checking out this um few new mods as well I will catch you next time